So you've got ex-military people, politicians, uh, uh, police chiefs, all across the board smell a huge, gigantic, stinking rat, and it doesn't matter to our government, they're just going to use our children as much as they can in those deaths to get as much gas mileage for big government and police state as they can possibly get. And I'm telling you something, that is flat wrong. Dick Whitehurst, who was one of the heads of the FBI crime lab, saying, resigning and saying that they were manufacturing evidence in this case and others. Did you ever hear about that? Uh, yeah, I heard about it. It just, I don't know if one man could have done this, but so far that's the only man we've convicted, so. I have to go by the way the courts are. What do you think about the multiple seismograph evidence from the University of Oklahoma and the U.S. Geological Survey that picked up multiple explosions? Uh, I didn't hear much about that. And I, I feel sorry for these people. I got people that live here, and they're not too sure what's going on around here. So. And I've just been asking people that look like they're knowledgeable. Are you all familiar with what happened in 1933 in Germany? Uh, the Reichstag? Do y'all remember that? It happened right. to their parliament building? Uh, right, that's right. They blew that up. Uh, Hitler blew that up to uh, get rid of the, or to make it look like it was the current government. Communist, the yes. The communist. Yes, yeah. he, uh, he wanted fear. He wanted some terrorism mm -hmm. bills, and he got them. Uh, they didn't really get all the stuff they wanted mm -hmm. here in America. Uh, are you familiar with, with what Nero did in Rome? Yes, he burned it, and that's where we're going we, right we now. Go. <laughs> all right, thanks go. a lot. Nice to meet you, Charles. So what's your opinion on what's going on in the government right now? You know, hey, it's just, it's just, you know, it's too big. Government is basically too big. Too big for us to be able to watch. You know, that's right. You know, they offer in your business, my business, and everybody else's business. They uh, tax you to death. That's definite, you know, and uh, they also trying to tell, basically, you know, trying to run the state's business. Everybody else, you know, it's just, you know, just basically got too big. You know, fat get fat, rich get richer. That's and it, Charles. It definitely ain't us. Charles, how do you feel two and a half years after the tragedy of what happened at the Alfred P. Murrow Federal Building? Oh, it's gonna happen again. And who do you think was involved in that? Do you, do you think it was McVeigh alone or with others, or do you think it was the government perhaps trying to scare us into submission? Oh, he wasn't alone, definitely. You know, cause can't no one or two guys pull that off by themselves. You know, and uh, for government building to get blew up you know you know they're gonna know what's going on you know it's it's more than what it is that most definitely it's also kind of funny that the that building was so demolished but one right across the street was barely even damaged the only way that could happen mm -hmm. is that they know the pacifics and where to put the bomb at you know real experts that's right you know and hey just like I say he was you know he was the army you know he's in the army so of course he's trained in in uh, military tactics and and you just think about it, you know, the way that the way that building was bombed and, and blew up, and the way it, you know, and the way it went up was was very professional. Oh yeah, most definitely. Do, do you think that there have been any unanswered questions about what's happened with the bombing? Do you think the media has done a good job or has tried to find out the truth? Yeah, I think the media have tried to, but you know, it's, it's covered up. You know, it's covered up. What about you know? All you got to look at is just case in point, John Doe number two. You know, they tell you don't even don't even think about looking for him. Just ju just forget about him. But you know, they just say. But you know. Did you, you live here, Charles, at the time I of the bomb? I live here. I, I work right here in this building. I was at work. Did I you, was at work. Did you feel it? Yeah, I thought this building was blowing up. How many blasts did you feel? Two. And how far apart were they? Oh, probably about boom, and then it's boom. And so it wasn't a rumble. It was two separate booms. Mm -hmm. Are you familiar with the seismograph information that? distinctly shows two separate bombings. I've heard people discuss it and the media discuss it and stuff. Yes. Uh, are you familiar with Mr. Keyes, Representative Keyes, that believes the government may be involved? Yeah, Tom Keyes from Oklahoma. Yes. Yeah, I'm familiar with him. Who do you think stood to benefit from that heinous bombing? Basically, the government, the Biden, won't uh, to do what they want to do to be, able, to be able to do, come and go as they please, look, search, siege, or whatever, you know. They benefit more when stuff like this happens. So you think it was important for them to, the American people were getting too uppity. We were, we were tired of getting pushed around. We, uh, and so suddenly something happens and now government gets to come back and be, be big brother again. They got a re now they got a reason. Basically, you know, all it takes is a little for them to do a lot. You know, they basically do, you know, have come and go as they please, do what they want to as it is right now. Are you familiar or are you aware of the fact that the 
all 17 of the ATF agents and over 20 of their clerks and secretaries were all off the ninth floor, but the rest of the building was filled to the gills with children and other people? Yeah, I'm aware, you know. The media made that aware of everybody, you know, and it's like, it makes you think. You know, of all the people that, who should have been there, nine o'clock in the morning, it's them, but they conveniently was out, or either out the court, or either doing their thing, you know, but they wasn't in the building. It makes you wonder, it, do it, they really know what's really going on. So, so we're about a, what, a block and a half away from the, from the federal building right now? Right. Or from the remains of it? Yeah. And you were at work on April 19th, 95, when it happened, and you yes, felt two distinct explosions. Yes, it did. Uh, where were you when the bomb went off? We, me and him were standing next together. And y'all were just a, y'all are just about a block away? This building right here. And you felt two distinct blasts? Yeah. How Both of us fell down trying to get out the building. You know, it was just that much of a shake around what, what there. What was the first blast? Was it bigger or smaller than the second? It was bigger. The, small, the, 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 the second one was smaller, but you could st distinctly hear it. So it popped like a firecracker? No, it wasn't a firecracker. <laughs> <laughs> a firecracker in your ear? <laughs> no. No, it was a big one. Yeah, it was big. Let me, let me ask y'all a question. Y'all know what a police state is, right? Yeah. It's when the police run everything and you, and you, and you don't have any rights. Right. Do y'all feel that we're moving into a police state? Mm, yes, definitely, for sure. And again, that's me personally, that's not an attack on the cop on the beat. I mean, thugs and criminals control our police forces now, both state and national and, uh, and local. And so that's why it's so hard to get a crime punished nowadays. Mm -hmm. True, it is. Seems like if you steal $100, they'll put you in prison, but if you steal a million, they'll give you a medal. Yeah, and look time to the side. You'd be on the side. Yeah. <laughs> Y'all have any other comments about what's been going on? What's the solution uh, to the problem, Donnie? There's a lot of answers, different solutions. What was that you were saying? Divide and conquer. That's what it is. <laughs> That's an old game, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> well, thanks yeah. a lot, guys. I appreciate y'all's time. The facts are irrefutable. Treason is being engaged in. President Clinton bragged on Air Force One in 1996 to the press that he owed the revival of his presidency to the Oklahoma City bombing. General Parton, Ted Gunderson, Anthony Hilder, and many people with expertise in this area have documented what is happening. People like Jane Graham, who was a survivor inside the Murrow Building, saw strange utility people personnel placing packages against pillars in the lower areas of the building. We have photographs of the rider truck being loaded with fuel oil at Camp Grouper, and that is in northern Oklahoma. And you add this with the newscast before and then conflicting afterwards. You add this with Newsweek having to use a artist rendition to show you the eight foot deep, 30 foot around crater. And then when you see the actual video evidence, it's a heap of rubble that's been blown out into the street, not in by a truck bomb. There were two explosions, the seismographs show that, and the only people that gained from this were those that are for federal power. That's the evidence, and it's irrefutable. And if that's not enough for you, Carol Howe, a confidential FBI informant, warned the FBI before the bombing that the Aryan Republican Army and Andre Strassmeyer were planning to bomb the building. Now see some evidence of concentration camp facilities being built in America under the guise of FEMA going back over 30 years, but it is accelerating. Colonel North, in your work at the uh, NSC, were you not assigned at one time to work on plans for the continuity of government in the event of a